The next movement by The Roots here on Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. They performed at the rally in Washington. Well, we just heard Comedy Central host Jon Stewart and uh, The Colbert Report, uh, Stephen Colbert, discussing Islamophobia at their rally. This is what we're going to go to right now, is uh, Jon Stewart and Stephen Colbert on the stage. Um, talking about the issue of targeting Muslims. But before we go there, uh, we're going to go to Sam Waterston, the actor. He came up on the stage to read a poem by Stephen Colbert. Look around at these people. How safe do you feel? Your car when you parked, did you lock it? Thinking reasonably now, what are the odds that nobody hears a pickpocket? <laughs> that guy who just coughed on your neck, could he have an infection? <laughs> the restaurant where you went to brunch, did it fail its health inspection? A madman could set loose a virus for which there isn't a cure. And while these things may be unlikely, ask yourself, are you sure? And can you be sure that you won't get Ebola from a tainted diet cola, toxic waste, or getting chased by a bearded Ayatollah? The actor Sam Waterston of Law and Order reading a poem by Stephen Colbert that he said he'd written the previous day called Are You Sure? Well, the two Comedy Central hosts also gave out fake awards, Stephen Colbert and uh, Jon Stewart, for keeping fear and or reason alive. This is Stephen Colbert. Our first fear medal goes to those news organizations who barred their employees from attending John's rally because they thought it might make them look biased. ABC, CBS, the AP, the New York Times, and especially National Public Radio. Congratulations. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not NPR. If their employees attend John's rally, someone might think that NPR is liberal. John Stewart, meanwhile, gave a Medal of Reasonableness to Jacob Isam, a 23-year-old Texan skateboarder who shot to fame after helping stop a planned public burning of the Quran in Amarillo City Park in September. A local news video about the video and a subsequent remix version became an instant hit on YouTube last month. Our next honoree reacted quickly when he found himself face-to-face -face with a flammable situation. Snuck up behind him and took his Quran. He said something about burning the Quran. I was like, dude, you have no Quran, and ran off. I like that. Can we hear that again, maybe with a dance remix? No Quran. Snuck up behind him and took his Quran. Said something about burning the Quran. And I was like, dude, you have no Quran. Dude, you have no Quran. Thank you, YouTube. Now, obviously, I don't normally condone ripping things out of people's hands, but I think in this situation, it was the most reasonable thing to do. Ladies and gentlemen, our final awardee, Jacob Eisen. Sir? Come on out, brother. Oh. There you go. Booyah, Code Dude, you have no medal. How's that feel? <laughs> The rally to restore sanity and our fear also touched more directly on the growing Islamophobia around the country. This is a snippet of an exchange between Jon Stewart and Stephen Colbert featuring surprise guest, former basketball star Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. What about Muslims? What? What about them? They attacked us. Stephen, they did not. Some people who happen to be of Muslim faith attacked us. But there are 1.5 billion Muslims in the world. Most of them did not, is what you're saying? That is correct. Oh, John. Oh, so you're saying, you're saying that there is no reason at all to be afraid of Osama bin Laden. No, Osama bin Laden is a specific person. He a is bad, a specific bad Muslim person. Yeah, but that's not, there are plenty of Muslim people that are not bad and that you would like and that's fine. Oh, really? Who? Who would I like? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Yes, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem! That is someone that you would... Watch your head! Kareem, my man! Hey, no. Kareem! Kareem Abdul-Jabbar!
Abdul Jabbar is Muslim. Well, that, that's not fair, John. That's not a fair example. Kareem is cool. We're friends. Well, uh, we're acquaintances. You know, a real friend understands that no matter what religious p position someone plays, we're all on the same team. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar speaking to Comedy Central host John Stewart and Stephen Colbert talking about Islamophobia at their rally site.